If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com. You're going to click on FIFA 21 right here. Choose your platform you're buying coins on. Choose the amount of coins you'd like to purchase. Click buy now and then put in the discount code CHIEF for 6% off your order. Now let's go ahead and let's get right into this video. What's up guys, it's Feev Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you another insane trading method that's going to help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 21. Now if you are enjoying the content or you are new around here, I ask that you guys do please hit that subscribe button. We're going to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of FIFA 21, so it would mean a lot if you did subscribe. And then make sure to check out all the links in the description, like Twitch for all my daily live streams, Discord for all sorts of trading advice and investments, and all the other links down there as well. And with that said, let's go ahead and let's get right into this trading method and let's try to smash 75 likes on this video so guys what we're going to be looking at today is going to be something a little different it's going to be based off of icon swaps what we're going to be looking at is ucl era divisi cards so what you can do is you're just going to go quality special league era divisi and if we take a look right now these cards are selling for about 2300 coins as you can see there's only three cards there and then 2400 i believe there's quite a few so let's say, for example, you pick a card up and you sell it for 2300, you're going to lose 115 coins on tax. So basically anything 2000 coins or less here is a pretty decent deal for these cards. And the thing with it is, as you've seen there, I've picked up two common UCL cards and I actually picked up one up before the video as well here for 1800. So with these cards a lot of people will just search ucl rare and try to trade with those cards but what you can do is you can go quality special and trade with the common and the rare ucl cards so these are really easy to pick up sniping these common cards but my preferred method for this is actually still bidding i'm a big fan of bidding on these cards which we'll get to in a second and the thing as well, which I guess we'll point out now, is with selling these cards, I always check the prices of the individual cards because a lot of these will go for different prices based on position, rating, in-game stats, things like that. So I do always check prices because they could sell for more than like the 2300 that that one right back sells for. But like I said, anything 2000 or less is a good deal and you can try sniping, but again, I don't really enjoy sniping all that much so I prefer to do bidding but as you can see I mean it's somewhat working and you can see that rare there I missed because people are trying to get the rares but not the commons so what I do next is I set my max bid price to 2000 here and then you're gonna go through and you're just gonna try to pick up literally any card that you can for 2000 coins or less that is UCL from the era divisi basically that is what we're looking for right here so we'll go through and do this and you can see there's not many cards that expire soon what this could be as well is a glitch in the market in terms of just the search parameters so sometimes if you search with this price parameter not everything within it pops up so sometimes i'll try to search without any price parameter and just kind of go through and see if that was kind of a glitch and see if there's any cards that we could actually pick up here yeah like see this guy should have popped up but he didn't so we're able to uh we're able to bid on him actually so that it's just it's like a minor issue that ea has with surging on the transfer market that is quite annoying but you know we get over it and then after you go through and bid on all those cards while you're waiting for them to expire that is when i would do sniping just so i'm not sitting around really wasting my time or you could just go to a different method it's really whatever you prefer I'll, i usually just go through and bid on a bunch of cards and then i'll sit here and snipe while i'm waiting for those cards to get down to the last couple minutes but let's kind of get into some cards that i won before the video as well and look at what kind of profit we're looking at here so i'll clear whatever we missed on now i'll bid 2k on this and that'll be my final bid there and then we got a couple more rolling in here but these are the cards i won before the video as you can see we got three of them for 1700 and then we actually got this kudas guy for 1300 which is very very nice so i know this right bag goes for that minimum like 2300 price and i think this midfielder does too that's the thing the more you do this method the more you'll become accustomed to the prices and everything just goes a bit quicker when you already know the prices of everything basically so we list all those up we made 600 coins a piece 
on those cards, which is actually really, really nice for us. We'll take that anytime. And it looks like we're going to get this guy as well for 2k, which again, if we list 2300, it's not crazy profit, but it's still something. And something that I like to do when I'm checking prices is I'll just check like different positions. Like I'll check midfielder. Again, he's not going for a crazy amount. I'll check forward. So this left wing is 25 there. Let's check like 27. So if we were to get like a striker or one of those rare wingers, which there's a couple of them, like Nerez and Anthony, then they would go for over 3,000 coins, it looks like, if we were lucky enough to get one of those strikers. So that would be something to try out here as well, is to go position by position and just kind of bid different prices. So that's what I'm going to show you here now, is we're on this Eredivisie special filter, and if I go striker here, how much are these actually selling for? Let's go 3,500. So these are going about 3K, it looks like. 3K seems like where they're settling at. So if I were to try to pick these up for like 2,600 or less, we could try that. So if I just bid like 2.2K on these, it'll be interesting to see if anyone bids on them or if they're just kind of like, oh, I'm not going to bid on those. These UCL cards only go for 2.3K from the era to busy. But what they may not know is that these strikers and these rare wingers actually go for a bit more. So again, I'll check that again with this left winger. So again, Nerez is going to be very, very expensive. It looks like, let's look at the right wing. So yeah, these wingers are actually through the roof in terms of prices. So this would be something to keep an eye out for is these cards that do go for a lot more. I mean, this is outrageous. This is outrageous how much they actually go for. I didn't think they went for this much. Let's just take a look how much our guy Nerez here is selling for. How much do you go for, big man? 5K? 6K? So he's up at like 6K. There's one here for 5.4. I'll grab that and list him for 6K. So, you know, you, again, just search around the market. We found a quick deal there. That's 300 coins after tax. We take that any time we can, boys. Let's kind of jump back over to these bids here and see. I probably missed out on... Ooh, there's a there there. We know he goes like 3K. This guy's like 2,300. We know this goes for more, so we potentially, you, it, that's the thing, you gotta stay on top of your pins here, or else you're gonna be missing out on a lot of coins with this method. You gotta just stay on top of things. We'll go ahead and list our kudas up that we won. We'll list him 2.3K as well. Again, nothing crazy, but we take the profit however it comes, basically. And it looks like we're gonna get this Alaire here for 1,500. And we know, we checked earlier, he sells for 3,000 coins. We're going to get both of these, which both go for 2300 I mean, we're looking at some really, really good profit with this method. Absolutely no complaints here for me. No complaints. And again, typically, these common cards are a lot easier to pick up than the rares. So like someone bid 2300 on that Alaire, and we went and got this one for 1500 So we're, uh, we're, we're making good money, boys. This is how it's done right here. This is how it's done. Let's go ahead. Let's get him listed up. For 3k that'll be 1500 coins profit there we'll make 700 on that card and we'll make uh 800 on that card easy stuff boys easy profit ucl era divisi this is how you do it right here easy coins as you can see but guys that's gonna be it for this video if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video